So I think one of the best things about SCL is it's an all-encompassing sports company um, in that we're not just the ETS program, we are the primary program. And our owners and our founders fully understand what it's like to work in the sports industry, as do all our staff. So you'll find that if you come to SCL, you'll have people who have a wealth of background knowledge, a clear understanding of the sports industry, and will be best suited to put you into a career in sport. So if you're passionate about sport and you feel that sport's your future and you want to work in it, SCL providing a fantastic range of opportunities. It's obviously clearly linked in with the football, which is a fantastic um, chance to play sport on a regular basis, improve your own fitness and be active, um, whilst building up the necessary skills behind the scenes. We offer a range of different courses, from BTEC through to fitness courses, which can essentially put you in a career or give you the necessary skills to work towards that next step in your career. So what we found over the last few years where we have introduced more and more of these programmes is actually we're helping learners in areas that they need. When the government decided that um, everyone has to take schools at 18, there were a section of learners who were more practical based, who were almost excluded from going into employment, or going into more practical jobs, and they were sort of stuck almost. By linking something that they're passionate about, which is sport, which is running around, which is movement, which is you know freedom of expression, um, with sports they love, in this case football, but also rugby and cricket, were able to balance their world out into a way that they're doing their education, they're learning, but they also have their freedom where they can go out and do the things that they enjoy. And what we found is because they have such high enjoyment at the practical side, they're more willing to work in the classroom, and we can link what they do in the classroom to the practical side, and they understand the clear links between it. Um, it creates a positive environment, it creates a good working environment, um, and there's that risk and reward that works really well for our learners. So in terms of comparison, they both come with UCAS points, which is the main thing you'll need to take the next step in your career if you want to go into further education. Um, BTEC essentially is a coursework based programme. So you'll, you'll do modular work where you build up a series of coursework and a portfolio. And A level, you study, you study towards an exam. So depending on what type of learner you are, you'll probably have a preference. But in terms of the UCAS points offered at the end, because on most of our courses, we offer the triple distinction or the um, triple award I should say, you can get a triple distinction in it, um, you can get the same amount of UCAS points as if you were doing a range of different A levels. So because ultimately you're going to obtain the same UCAS points, there isn't really a massive amount of difference. Um, and also by having a coursework based course, it's easier for our students to be able to sort of work their way through in a logical order, rather than putting all their hopes and dreams on one exam at the end, or a range of exams at the end I should say. Essentially, we, we have a bit more freedom in where we're based um, and we are completely tailor-made to that venue and that course that we're running. So wherever your club is based or the, the team you're representing, your course is tailor-made to the needs of that club and to those that are on that course. We don't have to do so many other things surrounding what the college needs or the timetables and that, um, so we can be specific to those learners. Um, but that means teaching goes on a bit longer and we can give it extra support and we can do it. Okay. If we need to put on extra maths lessons and that, we're not restricted by timetable rooms or things like that, we can just go and do that support. So where we're different is we have that freedom to really be specific to the needs of our learners and to work with our learners to make sure we're providing them with the service that they need. Yes, as I mentioned earlier, everyone who sort of works for SEL is someone who's passionate about sport or has had a career in sport. So my, me myself, before I became a teacher with SEL, I was a football coach, um, working in various different settings, whether it be in after school clubs or um, for team-based coaching, um, and I've come from that background. So what you find is people who work for SEL absolutely love sport, and so do our learners. So we have that common link where we're both passionate about the same thing, and that allows us to drive forward and work together. Um, Having worked for SCL for over 11 years now, I've really enjoyed my time here and I've come across some great members of staff, always willing to support each other and therefore willing to support the kids, always looking to improve, always looking to better ourselves, which is ultimately what the kids want to do as well. Because we're all heading towards that common goal, we can put the learner at the centre of everything we do and therefore ensure that we're providing the best quality service. Thank you.
Um, so if you're that one level below, then you'll automatically be entered into GCSE. All our staff are qualified in delivering maths and English GCSE, and that is built into their timetable. If you're not quite at that level where you're expected to reset a GCSE, we can offer you a functional skill at level one and level two. So what we aim to do is make sure each person that is redoing maths and English is doing it at the correct level. And by having them to do it at the correct level, we're able to ensure that they're getting the correct level of teaching, the correct level of support, and they're not doing something that is just impossibly hard for them. Not everybody finds maths and English the easiest skill, and it takes time to develop those skills. And sometimes these kids have been forced into a situation where they're at school, they're put in the bottom set, and they're sort of left alone, and they're asked to do the same qualifications in terms of GCSE that all their peers are doing, and actually that's not really fair to them. So our aim is to make sure that the correct level, the correct setting, we're learning the correct things, ready to progress towards their exam.